Hey there, I, I want to make a quick follow-up video. I just got a question and I, th I want to demonstrate something because first of all, it's a, it's a good thing to know about for WaveBurner and second, because I think it might answer the question this person had. Um, you have the ability in WaveBurner to create two separate CD tracks within one audio file. So if you were to highlight this purple uh, marker at a CD track start, and in this little area right above, uh, if you just put it anywhere, I'm going to put a little bit after the two minutes, might be two minutes, 15 seconds or so, uh, you can put it and you can see it does not cut that audio track. Uh, so if you were to burn a CD from here, then uh, it would burn one audio track. And if you watch the CD player, it would shift from one track to another without any audible separation. Um, however, um, <clears throat> as far as when you export this to iTunes, it's still going to be two separate <clears throat> two separate tracks. So I think um, once you do that, if, if you may be able to burn a CD without any audible gap. I'm not sure. In preferences, I know you can say how much time you want. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's just go to a playlist. And then say burn to disk. <clears throat> so right here, I think you can set set it to be none. And I, I don't... I don't know how much that'll be uh, uh, in this instance. I don't know if it'll be perceivable or not. So maybe that'll work for you, maybe it won't. I know that if you burn it straight from from WaveBurner that you end up with no break, no audible break. But if you do that export CD track function we talked about a minute ago, bounce CD track, excuse me, um, I'm not sure what, what that ends up sounding like uh, in iTunes. So it's kind of an answer, kind of not, but um, for everybody, I hope it, it's helpful to know that if, if you ever, if there's a song with a long intro before, you know, whatever, the drums kick in here and the song really gets going, as you might want it to be heard for a radio single or something, um, you have the ability to put in a, a track separation within one audio file. All right. Well, this is Pete Buckwald signing off. Let me know if you have any more questions.